A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys this tutorial is all about creating a drop, drop cap in uh, Dreamweaver and uh, let's have a look at this picture. Now the letter L is the drop cap and we will uh, try to emulate the same effect. Right let's get started. Let's get back to Dreamweaver. Guys, the first thing that I'll do is uh, I'll create and I'll create a div tag okay let me call it drop cap let me give it an ID drop cap and uh, click on the new CSS rule say okay once again guys I'm creating an internal style all right let me go to the box category give it a width of uh, let's say 400 by 400 a background color of a hash FFC and uh, yeah, let me uh, give it a padding of 5 pixels all around and uh, let's say OK and OK once again. Alright. Now guys, uh, this is the division or the div in which I'll be dropping the cap. Okay, let me type in some text. Let me go with the... Hey, I am going to create a drop cap in Adobe Dream Weaver CS 5.5 right let me copy the text and let me paste it again and again and again just to fill it up now that should be enough right now guys what I'm gonna do is let me select the whole uh, chunk of text guys if you notice in the properties panel the format is set to a none let me convert this to a paragraph now it's a paragraph guys cool guys what I really want is I want that every paragraph that is inside this div called drop cap should have the first letter capitalized that's one and should drop the cap let's see how we can do that uh, let me create a style a new CSS rule once I click on this plus button guys automatically Dreamweaver uh, gives me the contextual selector as compound which is fine and it says that uh, the rule or the style will apply to all P elements that are within the HTML elements with the ID drop cap which is which is fine but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ju just add a pseudo class selector by just typing in a colon first letter out here okay so the rule the compound rule the pseudo class uh, selector that I'm creating will ensure that the first letter of every paragraph that occurs in this specific div or division should have the first letter with a different style or a different rule that I'm going to specify now let me say okay and start defining the rule cool um, in fact guys let me change the background color mm. let me change rather uh, let me give it a color of uh, let's say a pound sign 900 okay that's how I want my first letter to be affected let me straight away say okay and uh, take a live view guys uh, I'm not so sure whether you can uh, see it clearly but the first letter has actually been rendered kind of maroon alright so making sure that uh, the live view is selected guys I'll click on this now making sure that uh, I'm in the live view guys I'll click on the rule once again and this time let me give it a font size of let's say mm, let's try 48 and let's say apply and guys uh, keep on noticing the changes uh, that are happening out here okay. next guys uh, what I'll do is I'll transform the text to a capitalize so even if I by mistake leave the first letter in the small case it should still get capitalized now uh, things are happening just the way I want except that it's not a drop cap it's uh, kind of hanging above the line so let's see how can I actually 
drop it down guys next what I'll do is I'll go to the box category and uh, make it float left let's see what happens when I click on the apply button guys now very clearly it's a uh, getting a semblance of being a drop cap it's actually gone right in it's caved in uh, that's cool but guys if you notice the black text is touching the maroonish uh, text and uh, it's, it's pretty simple to actually push the black text away all I need to do is it uh, do is just give uh, some right padding and say apply right and uh, guys as far as the position of the letter H is concerned I can control that too by going to the type category and uh, then putting in a value for line height line height right now is empty let's try putting in something like a 30 and say apply guys uh, even if even though it's 30 it's uh, still emerging outside the top of the uh, paragraph now let me try something like a 40 out here and say apply uh, this uh, looks to be uh, just the way I want it because the bottom of the letter H is getting aligned with the bottom of the second line where it says CS 5.5 now that's exactly what I wanted uh, what if I make the line height equal to the font size let me keep it 48 and say apply now that's not what I want because in this case it is disturbing the line 3 which is not I want it so I'll, I'll revert back to the way I liked it which was line number 40 let me say okay and there it is guys it was pretty simple so I floated the letter left and uh, applied some line height some right padding made sure the trex transform was set to a capitalize and i'm done guys so guys um, i hope you enjoyed and learned something from this tutorial you have a good day peace